position then? Um, it certainly take a big jump forward from any of his rivals if he was to give his running like he did as a two-year-old. So the last one to go forward will be Killian with Holly Doyle on board for the first time. They're off. Five furlongs ahead of them. One from the right. Big Evs in the noseband out sharply and grabs the early lead at already 37, 38 miles an hour. But he's quickly headed by Sameli and Killian, who's going fast with a white cap. And Big Evs now has to take the trail as they move towards halfway. So Killian, white cap, Sameli, the blue and white sports coach up between them. Then the nosebanded pair of Monash leave in a pink jacket and Big Evs on the extreme right. Further back to Unbreak My Heart and the grey dark vintage is a little out pace 42 miles an hour through halfway big evs on the extreme right is now making his effort moving through to challenge sommelier and killian sports coach has backed out of it monash leave on the left is running on quite strongly just outside the furlong big evs killian sommelier monash leave trying to get on terms big evs in front now opening up sommelier sticking to the task but big evs simply has too much class he's given a weight and he's given him a beating Sommelier in second, running on to dispute third dark vintage, and upside Killian. Well, that's the return that McAppleby will have wanted to see, and it's a notable double for Tom Marquand. Big Evs has won the Westo. Conceding weight all round, lumps of weight to some of his opposition, and he's put clear daylight between himself and Sommelier in second for Marco Botti and Sheen Murphy. Third was dark vintage for Sheen Orr and Richard Farry. That's a really encouraging run from that American recruit, and he has run down Killian, who has finished fourth for Archie Watson. Four to seven, the winner has returned. Was that everything you wanted to see? Yeah, job done, I think. Um, he's taken a slightly different method of winning this afternoon, different tactics, yeah. sat in behind, didn't flash that early speed necessarily in quite the same way that we saw last season but Big Ebbs was very much comfortable with that he settled in behind horses um, he looked very professional with how he's gone about it he got to Sommelier quite easily and then he stretched on late on it was a very satisfactory comeback and one that you would expect to see so I think there's an element of job done about it and it will take another improvement I think to take on older horses in, in the five furlong division but we can't say for sure that he's not going to find that improvement. This was just a good start point for his season. It, it really was. And I'm quite taken with how he managed to do it in a different kind of way to what we've seen in a juvenile year. And that might open up doors for him this season as well. I did Tom Aquan down. This, of course, a treble for him. He won the Open on Clarendon House as well as the Dante. But uh, the early speed is between Sommelier, uh, but more particularly Killian down the centre, also prominent as a sports coach. And Big Evs is, is, is having to take that lead from them. Yeah, he is. I think that was, it looked as if it was by design from Marquan, really, mm. because he jumped out the stalls fast and he could easily have given him a little nudge and, and gone mm. forward on him, but he didn't appear to want to. He wanted to probably educate the horse to be ridden in a slightly different way. Now, I'm not sure whether it suited him quite as well as being let loose, if I'm being honest. I don't know. We'll sort of save that for another day to decide, I think. But he is a horse with a lot of early pace, and it wasn't necessarily used to the devastating way that it, it was in last year's Flying Childers, for example. But it will not it'll have ensured that he hasn't had as hard a comeback as he probably would have done if he'd have done it all on his own steam. And he was very tractable in behind horses, wasn't he? And showed a good attitude to get past them. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm encouraged by the fact that he's been able to, mm. to, to, to do it differently. He does have that Commonwealth Cup entry, which would require a sixth furlong. Um, I don't know whether that's at all in their mind. Well, he's, he's got the entry, and it, it'll certainly be something to discuss and, and consider. Um, you'd be more positive about it today I think than maybe on the on his two year old form mm. just because he was very